Hey everyone, Float Cleanse Day 4, and I feel very, very, very energized, surprisingly. And one thing that I've done differently this time is that instead of just sticking with juice and water, I have been um, using or doing raw soups, which has been helping a lot. Um, the float was absolutely beautiful and it just keeps getting better and better and better it's amazing how when you get in it's just so surreal it's like the best sci-fi fairy tale you could possibly think of <laughs> this time I actually sat up in meditation and did some toning before I laid back and then when I laid back, I just let myself sink in. Wow. Feeling absolutely weightless and cradled in this cranial fluid that realigns my body, releases any pain, and just puts me in a place of peace. Immediately. This time when I came out, I had to go teach a yoga class right away. And um, that was really intense, actually. It was rainy, and people in Arizona don't really know how to drive. So um, being on the freeway and everything like that, it was just very intense. I don't really suggest driving really far after a float, <laughs> if you can at all avoid it. So, it was intense, but it was good. Everything just flowed, um, and it was nice because I was able to go with the theme of, of cleansing. After that, I was able to have a little bit of time by myself before I went into work and back to the float spa. <laughs> And, you know, my, light, my, my day just rolled along very smoothly, and I'm thankful for that. I definitely see the floats consistently getting better and better, so I'm very, very excited to see how this continues to go. Thank you guys for continuing to tune in and see how it's going, because it's, it's a very special opportunity. <laughs>